No at 10 ribbon after ribbon. There is a sea of blue lining the streets of Fairway, Kansas. The entire community preparing to honor fallen officer Jonah Oswald tomorrow. He was shot and killed in the line of duty. Now the chance for severe weather postponed today's event to honor Oswald. So now officers will lead a parade tomorrow ending with the candlelight vigil. KSHB 41's Caroline Hogan visited the town earlier today and talked with the woman who started hanging up these ribbons to hear what inspired her and the rest of the community. There was always this comfort I had when I was up with my kids in the middle of the night um, because I could see their spotlight um, in my window. That's where this ribbon idea kind of really came full uh, forward as I really wanted to kind of give the police department comfort as well. Heather Bridgens came up with the idea to adorn Fairway with blue ribbons. Made them pretty? Wow. I tried to. She voiced the idea to neighbors and wasn't surprised to see how the initiative grew. That's just kind of just what our community does when um, someone is hurt or injured or needs or help everyone just is willing to step in and, and help us out to learn that someone was killed in service to us and to our community is I mean it's devastating when it's our turn to be there for them we have a responsibility to, to do that we saw a lot of those blue ribbons on the trees over closer to the fairway police department but this is something that spans into other neighborhoods and communities as you can see right here with the flags of fairway pool creamery is a gathering place in the neighborhood I think that's one of the reasons people come here is because we're involved in the community fairway creamery is right on the parade route I told everyone grab your lawn chair sit out front, take up the parking lot, you know, whatever. And as a leader in the community, they're hoping their support sends this message. It's important to help your neighbors, you know, to take care of each other. And to be that comfort and support to all your neighbors at a time of need. We need to look out for each other, um, whether it's a police officer, your neighbor, a family member, whoever it may be, or just a total stranger. Reporting in Fairway, Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.